For a spell and me, your girl, what? It's all about you and me and how we step outside our comfort zone so that we may live and be the best, the best <laughs> version of ourselves. We continue our wellness series. Wellness, the therapist, the desert, and me, your girl. True story. I've told you throughout this channel, I talk about it freely and without shame. I have been to therapy for many, many, many times and for many points in my life because I believe therapy to be an avenue, a way to work through something. A process that helps us work through our challenges of being human. There is no shame in it, according to me, but I respect and I understand that depending on where you are from and the part of the world you're from, or the society, the household in which you were brought up, you may view, or some, some of you may view therapy as shameful. We do not talk about it. You can go to our pastor. We can go to a teacher, we can go to a sermon, and we can go and confess and pray about it, and, and it's gonna be washed away, whatever ails us, darlings. That does not work for some people. Some of us, including me, we need one-on-one -on -one tailored care. That's why we have this video, Wellness. The therapist, the desert, and me. Four lessons that I have learned through the advice of my therapist and through working with my therapist. First one, darlings. Breathe. Just breathe. Find a quiet place. Still your body, still your mind. If you can move physically to a quiet location. If you can't, then find a bathroom. Find a restroom. <laughs> Go someplace where you can still your mind, envision someplace that makes you feel peaceful. I'm doing it right now. Peaceful. Have that photo in your mind. Save it on your phone, my loves. That's what I do. I have about five or six different photos, and most of them are nature-driven nature photos. Nature. Photos of places of nature. Whether the weather, it's the water, it's the woods, it's the desert, whatever you need. Have that in your mind. Be still and hold your body, your breath, and hold that in your mind. Take a deep, slow breath in for a count of five. Silence your phone, silence your mind. Breathe it in, as we said in that meditation video. Hold it for five. Wonderful, my loves, and you breathe it out. That quiets the anxiety, quiets the mental chatter that's driving all of us to think negative thoughts. It just keeps you still. Breath. Number one, the therapist, the desert, and me. Number two, until you confront your fears, those fears will be the vehicle in which you and me are driving our lives in. Again, confront your fears. Until you confront your fears, that fear is the identity that you have. Everything that's worth having takes time, takes commitment, takes an investment, and takes work, my loves. Number three, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with yourself. The empathy, the love, the compassion that you share and you give so readily to your friend, to your child, to your dog, take it inward. Take it inward, my loves, and give it to yourself. The way you think about yourself, the way you take care of your body, your skin, give that to you because you need it as well, my love. You deserve it. 
because you're beautiful. We talked about that other video about flaws. You kiss your flaws, you kiss your scar, you look yourself in the mirror and you be gentle and empathetic with yourself, that body, those feet, those legs that have brought you through, that chest, that back, that pear shape, whatever, that skinny, meanie, whatever, all of that is you and you're beautiful. You're beautiful, darling, so be gentle with yourself. And number four, the therapist the desert and me. Until I went through therapy, my many years of therapy, there was no shame, darlings. I was in a desert, in a barren place where nothing was growing. I was still, I was not moving, my years were accumulating, but I was still the state I was when I experienced whatever it is I experienced. We want to live and grow, we want to evolve, darlings. So that's why we have this video, where we have this wellness series. The therapist, the desert, and me. Number four, <laughs> set your terms of treatment for yourself. Set your boundaries and communicate it to the world. What does that mean? It means as we are evolving, as we are learning about ourselves, as we are comforting ourselves and being gentle and confronting our fears and practicing our breath work, dealing with our anxiety, we need that space, physical space, mental state, space, mental clarity so we can focus on ourselves. And if you are working through your journey to yourselves, my love, and someone keeps calling you or expects a text or wants to go and party or wants your attention, wants all your attention, you will not have anything to give yourself. So when you set your boundaries and say, this is what I need for these amount of hours, this is what I need, this is what I need from you, leave me be, because I'm working through something. I'm working through a process. Or if you say, don't call me at this time, whatever it is that you need. Oh my, my loves, you need to set it, set your boundaries, and of course you have to communicate it to the world. Wellness, the therapist, the desert, and me. Being in that desert, that barren land, it was no fun, my loves. Therapy is beautiful. Therapy can heal. Therapy takes work, takes strength take stepping outside our comfort zone to realize that we are human we are flawed we are lovably doubly flawed and sometimes we need help that jesus jehovah buddha allah the pope whomever cannot treat us immediately with what we need so therapy darlings i will leave some resources in the description box below for you there is no shame in getting help the mental help that we need. There is no shame in getting the mental help that we need. Let's take the stigma away. The wellness, the therapist, the desert, and me. Another video is waiting for you. Check it out. Check it out now.